Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be on who will see the coldest temperatures this winter 2017-2018. Sorry guys, I didn't post this video earlier. I should have, but unfortunately I couldn't. I was just way too busy, so sorry for any inconveniences. Um, first, you got to look at the probabilistic ENCO outlook. And the ENCO pretty much determines whether there's going to be a La Nina or El Nino pattern. And uh, if you don't know what that is, you'll be fine. In a minute, I'll explain it. So... As you can see, for November, December, January, December, January, February, for pretty much your whole entire winter, it's going to be La Nina. And you may be wondering, well, what does that mean? Pretty much a blocking high pressure sets up across the North Pacific Ocean, sends a jet stream into southern Alaska, and then the jet stream nosedives into Central America and Central North America, and then it goes back up. But that brings cold air across pretty much the northern half of the United States and warmer air across the southern half. But this year, I don't think that the West will have that cold air. I think that they will have colder than average, but I don't think they'll have as cold weather as expected with the La Nina. So they'll have slightly below average temperatures. I do think that most of the cold air will be in the Central Plains, Midwest, East Coast, Mid-Atlantic, and that's pretty much it. And actually, I think that the, southern, uh, that the cold air will make it into southern yeah, the southern USA several times, southeast especially, because the southwest, I do think they'll remain dry and warm, but southeast, I think they'll remain, they'll be slightly below average. I'll explain that in a minute. So first off, we need to look at the NAO. And the NAO is North Atlantic Oscillation, and we need to know whether there's going to be negative or positive. And for the next couple of weeks, it's going to be negative. And you may be wondering, what does negative mean? It's pretty much just like you learn in school. It's going to be the jet stream going from west to east. It's going to be at a negative slope. That's why it's called negative phase. And then that brings in cold air across the east, even into the south. And that's why I do think that the southern United States, southeast, will get cold air this year. Quite a bit cold shots. And maybe wondering, well, the North Atlantic Oscillation, that is only for a couple of weeks. And it only stays for a couple of weeks before moving on. Well... If you have a La Nina pattern and it's happening already now, then and a negative NAO, then most likely throughout the winter there will be more of these NAOs and more cold Arctic Arctic outbreaks will happen and they will reach the southeast. And that's why I do think that the southeast will see some cold air, um, probably below average, slightly below average. And actually, I think they'll be yeah, slightly below average. And then the north will be just the north will just be the most below average. And I'd like to show you what the NAO looks like. And this is what a negative NAO looks like. Anywhere you see blue is below average temperatures. Anywhere you see red is above average temperatures. But I do think that this NAO, this NAO is fairly weak and didn't bring in that much cold air. But you, you could see how far it went south. And this was from a couple days ago. But I do think that the NAOs that will happen this winter will be further west based and really south based. So that's I do think that's going to happen. But I would like to also mention that that's not the only thing that's going to happen because... There's going to be some warm-ups, but between those negative NAOs, I think the pattern like this could set up, and that could bring colder into the northwest and generally across the north. And I do think that this pattern will stay prominent through the winter a lot. So coldest air will be across the north, and then slightly below average temperatures across the southeast, if not just below average temperatures in the southeast because of all the cold shots that are going to be happening through. Of course, there will be some warm shots in there, warm temperatures like they had just a snowstorm down there, but now warmed back up, and they could have another snowstorm around Christmas time. I'll be making a video about that, by the way. And you can see southwest warmer than average, and I do think they're going to be warmer than average because they're, the cold air just won't get in there. So that's why I do think the southwest will be the warmest this year, and the same applies to Alaska and Hawaii, the same colors. So you could probably figure that out. And thank you guys so much for watching. This really means a lot to me if you leave a like and comment. So... As always, guys, see you guys on the next episode.